should have played it twice. It's kind of short, but uh, I call this rockabilly rhythm, and um, it's kind of a play on the rhythm patterns that we normally do, where we're kind of going. But here we're changing the lower note, and it goes along with a lot of the riffs that we're doing in this part of the book, like Day Tripper, where you're doing third to fourth fret. Here you're doing O, O, three, four, uh, over and over, very repetitious. Uh, but it's, I would call it a rhythm pattern, but we're uh, altering the bass note, the bass string, rather than doing a typical rhythm pattern like that. So it's O, O, three, four. And to get a good effect with it, uh, now a lot of people fall into doing chord, chord, single note, single note, chord, chord, single note, single note, and that sounds okay, but uh, kind of go the extra mile and make sure that you're really hitting that other string and hitting a pair of strings on every strum. want that upper note it's not changing but you want it to ring like a bell and I, I think a good warm-up for this is to just do a whole measure of just this note so that you hear it in your head ringing like a bell you know it's like one and two and three and four and and then when you add the bass Listen for that still, that listen for that upper note ringing, and double check that. Another thing that helps is to do this riff, picking a little closer to the bridge. I'm not right at the bridge. That that might be a little too brittle, though. You could try it. You know, on an electric guitar, it, you know, it varies. It depends on good on the guitar that you have, but some guitars are brighter than others. But you really want that ringing without any kind of uh, muting or any kind of interruption in the sound. To achieve that, these fingers that you're adding for frets three and four really have to be bent. You can't lean them and that's why a lot of people unconsciously, they might be thinking that both strings are ringing, but they're, they end up choking that str the other string. You could just check each. Another thing you might try is a rest stroke, kind of a light rest stroke, because it's so fast. So I'm playing against playing the pair of strings, like the fifth and fourth strings, and my pick is coming to rest on the third string, um, and near the bridge, so you're kind of rolling over the strings. typical of like uh, uh, early surf guitar. A lot of surf guitar would use a riff like that. Like the Ventures, uh, Dick Dale maybe, and uh, or more modern surf group like uh, Lost Straight Jackets. They, they're one of my favorite groups. Uh, a lot of fun to, to watch and to listen to. Um, but it's kind of like a surf riff. You know, and it could be a rockabilly riff too, but um, either way, you know, if you're on the side of rockabilly, think of it as rockabilly or surf, <laughs> California, you know. So, and it is t kind of a tough riff, especially with the chord changes. The... And you got to really have these fingers bent 
or they're going to choke the other string. Um, so just take your time, do it really slow. I'm doing it fast, but you know, that would be a good idea. Is just go through it really slow, but listen to that upper note. Maybe just hit it by itself. And you might watch how your fingers go down on the string, that they're not right in the center, but maybe off center toward the string that you don't care if you touch. Uh, you don't want to touch this one, but it's okay if you rubbed against the sixth string. So you might put them more on the back of your fingertip. That's another little trick. And, um, you know, some of us have fatter fingers than others, and some with real thin fingers have no problem with with uh, missing or not muting the other string. See? So uh, enjoy this. Uh, it's a really cool riff. I think it is, you know, and I'm not really the one that made it up. It's a very common, well, it's a little unusual, but um, not as common as two, two, four, two, you know, but uh, it adds to your repertoire of riffs and rhythm patterns, what I call this. Eventually you can do all kinds of variations. Something like that, I'm just making something up, you know. But uh, you, can, you can make up new ones all day long. And uh, now that you have a, you know, this third to fourth fret, and then you could add the pinky. Okay, I should catalog them, you know, 5,000 rhythm patterns. Uh, so enjoy and like my page here. I mean, like my channel, my <laughs> uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook page, John Hedger Guitar Studio. Thank you so much.